What is gender equality? Um, gender equality is trying to make sure that regardless of whether or not you're male or female, you have access to um, everything that the other, other gender does. Gender equality to me is all genders, whether male, female, transgender, are treated with the same human rights and dignity with respect. It doesn't matter which part of the globe you are in or which part of a country you are in, it's universal and every gender on this planet has the right to be treated fairly and ex have the same experiences as everybody else. Gender equality to me means everybody being equal and having equal opportunities in society, work, um, developing themselves where they may go in the future. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there shouldn't be uh, the word gender in that idea of gender equality. It should just be equality. I believe that human beings are and should be all equal. Every single one of them, you know, across the globe, whether they are male or female. Um, I'm a big believer in mixed gender as well. I don't necessarily think that people are just solely male or solely female. Uh, I'm quite interested in sort of like transgender and the Native American Indians think about uh, people having lots of different genders within them. Socially, I think, over the last hundred years, I think that's been the big change, of, uh, particularly for, for women in society. I think the fact that women are no longer expected just to stay at home and be baby factories, uh, to put a particular f uh, phrase on it, um, gives women much more of an advantage currently, although obviously that's still the fact that women are expected to be the leaders in the family and still hold down a job. So it still hasn't got there, but it's good. Gender equality has changed drastically over the past 100 years. Starting with 100 years ago, during the First World War, 1917, you had a more male-dominated society where it wasn't seen for a female to take on a man's job, which is why they tended to work in the fields as part of the war effort, and that extended to all parts of society, such as teachers were considered to be female as opposed to male, male were the main breadwinners, women were subservient to their male counterparts, that was exhibited right the way through the 1950s, started to change in the 1960s in terms of more gender equality and the idea of the swing in 60s where it was more platonic relationships. You had more ethical theories coming into being such as Situation Ethics by Joseph Fletcher where this unconditional Christian love should be applied to everybody so women and men have the same status. Predecessors in that, you have the votes for women, all that came about after the Second World War. 23rd century, it's a lot, the gender gap is far more less significant, but it's still evident in many parts of the world. Even close to home in the UK, you have women not getting paid the same amount as men, that's still in existence. But we have come a long way in the last 100 years in terms of, it doesn't matter whether it's you have a religion or not, we are far more equal as a race. In the past hundred years I think gender equality has changed for the better and there are more rights now probably for women more than men um, but maybe things haven't progressed as far as they need to as you look at the women's marches in America after Trump um, introduced legislation which obviously was against women's rights and if you look at the elections that we've just had young people still aren't voting um, you know, for things that will affect them based on their gender. Uh, how has it changed in the last 100 years? Um, not enough, I think. Uh, it has changed. I actually think that uh, the ancients were better with uh, d ideas of gender rather than uh, the Victorians and onwards. So it has changed, but not enough. <laughs>